Mr Speaker, my question is to the Prime Minister. Um, permanent long-term overseas arrivals are outpacing the construction of new homes at a rate of almost four to one, with 900,000 net overseas arrivals, but only 265,000 building completions since Labor came to government. When will the Prime Minister admit Labor's housing crisis is out of control and Labor's fake promise to build 1.2 million homes is yet another broken promise? Why is the Prime Minister taking this country in the wrong direction? Yeah. Go to the Prime Minister. Yeah. Order. <laughs> thank, thank, thanks very much for the uh, member for Deakin's asked his question. The member for Deakin, who's asked a question, which is very broad-ranging at the oh, end there, but I, 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 I thank Order. him for uh, the tag of. And, and I respond Order. by saying Australia is indeed heading in the right direction. Yeah. It, was heading, it was heading in the wrong direction, Mr Speaker, but now it's heading in a direction which sees inflation going down. I think that's a good thing. It's heading in a direction where real wages are going up. I think that's a good thing. Productivity is increasing. I think that's a good thing. Now, instead of deficits KC. under them, we've got surpluses. I think that's a good thing. And we've seen more jobs created under this government than in uh, any new government in Australian political history. I think that's a good thing as well. The other thing that is a good thing is that every Australian's going to get a tax cut. Not just, not just some, not just politicians. Every Australian, every worker, including those who are building and working on Australia's uh, programs, such as the Social Housing Accelerator, which is seeing new public housing built, such as those who are benefiting from the tax changes put in by the tre Treasurer to encourage uh, the private rental market and to encourage the construction in Deacon that, is such as warm. those uh, Australians who will benefit from the Housing Australia Future Fund, which those opposite, those opposite were completely horrified by. And they voted against. They voted against. And of course, when it comes to the population of Australia, as the population statement uh, said uh, last December, for 2030-31, the expected population is 600,000 below what was projected prior to the onset of the pandemic in 2019-2020. And we, of course, note the comments of the Leader of the Opposition, who said, we do need, an, in, in September 2022, we do need an increase in the migration numbers. It's clear that the number needs to be higher. That's what he had to say a month later, he said. We need migration, we need migration, just to really emphasise it. Order. And his first Member budget Broome, reply, he boasted. I brought, in, I brought in record numbers of people from India, China and many other countries. The deputy leader has said, we know that urgently business needs a workforce and much of that workforce needs to come from overseas. The shadow minister sitting next to him there said, we Order. need to get our international students back. Prime Minister's the hypocrisy, time has concluded. The hypocrisy. Order.